Mardi Gras, everybody. <laughs> Took the woo right out of my mouth. <laughs> There's nothing a reformed alcoholic loves more than Mardi Gras. Everybody. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, our, it's our special time of the year. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got some beads uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, uh, people will show you their breaths for these beads. That's true. Yeah, dude, calm down. I don't want to see your breath. <laughs> now, we had beads at, uh, um, when we were in New Orleans, right? Yeah, at my place. Yeah, and, yeah. What? You came to my place. Yeah, I came to your place yeah, in New Orleans. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> a good times. And when we were there, we, Jeff and I were throwing beads off the balcony at his place, and we saw breasts, but I wish I hadn't seen them. <laughs> Except for one. Yeah. I remember one, there was one lady who, would, she snuck up, like, it was, it was fascinating. She was, uh, I guess she was about, probably about 40 or something like that, 40. And uh, she just kind of snuck up underneath us and just went, boom. <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> oh! <laughs> and I have to say, they were spectacular. They were impressive. Spectacular. I mean, she was 40, the breasts were only about six months, but she was 40. <laughs> but you know what? Hey, you know... Yeah, I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something, though. See, when, like, when a guy looks at, you know, like, if you're a lady, right, and you see your, uh, a man friend of yours or husband or something, and he's looking at a uh, lady's breasts, like, trying not to get caught, but you catch him, because you always can, and, and you go, they're not real, and he goes, oh, right, yeah, yeah. But what he's thinking is, I don't care. <laughs> right? That's correct. Yeah, we don't care. Anyway, I'm going to uh, throw beads to the studio audience now, and we're going to, uh, we're going to film. Now, now if, <laughs> if any of the studio audience show their breasts while I do this, because we are live, <laughs> then I just want you to know it is in no way a reflection on me or my robot skeleton or... <laughs> or the great CBS Corporation, which in no way endorses me, my show, or anything I think. <laughs> Sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now. I get so worried today when someone in my family gets the flu. Fact. Advil not only relieves the body aches and pains that can come with the flu, it also reduces fever fast. Relief doesn't get any better than this. Advil. The Tax Act Code. Promise number one. Integrity. Free means free. <laughs> Integrity. At TaxAct.com, all e-fileable federal forms are free. Free to prepare, free to print, free to e-file. TaxAct.com. It's how we act. Whopper Junior. Why are we dancing? We're celebrating the Whopper Junior. It's a Whopper Junior. $1.29. What? Unbelievable. Get the Whopper Junior right now for just $1.29. Burger King, where taste is king. Trophies and awards lift you up, but they can also hold you back, unless you ask, what's next? This is the next level of performance, the next level of innovation, the next RX, the F-Sport. This is the pursuit of perfection. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tonight on an all-new Late Show, Dave welcomes Medal of Honor recipient Staff Sergeant Clinton Romache. And tomorrow, don't miss Jerry Seinfeld. In here, it's all about two Jack Daniels dishes new on our Pick 2 for 10 menu for a very limited time. Friday's Jack Daniels Burger and new Jack Daniels Classic Chicken Duo. An entree plus appetizer, 10 bucks. In here, it's always Friday. Don't hibernate this winter. Get out and play at Mountain Creek and Crystal Springs Resort in nearby Vernon, New Jersey. Your favorite winter resort is now even better with new hotels, pampering amenities, and attractions for every taste. So whatever your definition of winter fun is, we are waiting for you. Mountain Creek and Crystal Springs Resort, New Jersey's winter playground. Book your close to home winter escape today. Ticketmaster.com. So when I realized that I had made the bed over 10,000 times, that's when I had my mattress moment. We have been sleeping on the same one for ever. So we went to the mattress gallery at Raymore and Flanagan. They have the biggest selection you've ever seen. We picked this cushy pillow top and they delivered it the next day. So we are now on day 11 of the new mattress. And I cannot wait for day 12. Raymore and Flanagan's mattress gallery. Dreams start here. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. believable indeed. The <laughs> folks at home are going to be so impressed. They're going to be like, oh, that foreign guy is popular with some hobos. <laughs> <laughs> no, you look fantastic. Very well-dressed studio audience, very aren't Very sexy. Wow, yeah. I'm very impressed. It's like, it's like Project Runway or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It is. Uh, is it? Yeah, all right. Um, it was, uh, President Obama's State of the Union speech was earlier tonight. I watched it. It was really fascinating, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was inspired, filled with hope for the future, and I'll admit a little emotional, but that's what happens whenever I watch Dance Moms. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. Took you on way, went the other way. Damn. Bam. That's the Bam. old late night trick. Is he, why is he talking about this? Because it's a joke! <laughs> it looks like North Korea set off another atomic bomb last night. US spy satellites picked up the equivalent of a 4.9 earthquake. Now there's only two things that can cause a thud like that. A nuclear weapon or Kim Jong-un falling out of bed. Do you see what I did? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I called him fat. Yeah. Nah. I can call him fat because he is evil. Right. Right, yeah, like, if, if he was a good guy, I'd be like, ah, he's a roly-poly funny man. But he's not. He's a fat, evil bastard, so we're fine. Yeah. 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 Now, tonight, of course, is Mardi Gras. Now, for me, Mardi Gras is when I lose control, do things I'll regret tomorrow, and trade my dignity for a few small trinkets. Then, when I'm done doing this show, I go and celebrate Mardi Gras. <laughs> One way, yeah. other way. Damn. Yeah. Now, <laughs> the most common way people go nuts in Mardi Gras is to expose their breasts in exchange for beads. I've never understood that. Uh, You've got a lot of beads going oh, yeah. on there. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I don't even have breasts. Right, yeah. I don't know, what is it about Mardi Gras that could make possibly, you know, make otherwise mo modest, uh, normal ladies expose themselves for shiny plastic baubles? And then I remember what it is. Binge drinking. <laughs> Mardi Gras is only the fourth biggest drinking holiday of the year. The top three are St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, and Tuesdays at Mel Gibson's house. Boom! There you go! Yeah! Take yeah. 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 
You see, now, you see what I did? Yeah. That's the late night monologue there. It's like saying a thing, saying another thing, and the third thing, that's going to be the celebrities look out. That's when the joke's coming. That's that's the zinger. That's, that's the, the zinger. zinger. That's where it's coming. So take that, Mel. He doesn't watch this show, Mel Gibson. No, he, he does. <laughs> he does? No, I know for a fact he watches the show. Oh, good evening, Mel. <laughs> that was just a joke, buddy. Um, you know, years ago, Mardi Gras started as a Catholic celebration before Lent. So now we know why Pope Benedict quit. He wanted to get in one last party. That's, yeah. what, <laughs> that's what it was. See? Yeah. Topical event. Yeah. He's German, you know. He's German. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he, what music he, like, he'd like uh, Kraftwerk to play yeah. his parties. <laughs> Crank up the Kraftwerk. <laughs> Do you know any craft work songs? Sure. Uh, computer love. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> now, my favorite is, she's so mortal and she's looking good. <laughs> I'd like to take her home. <laughs> but I'm the Pope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't, obviously. <laughs> Anyway, Mardi Gras is uh, French for Fat Tuesday. Unfortunately, we're all so politically correct now, you can't call it Fat Tuesday. It has to be Big Boned Day After Monday. But... <laughs> Do we have a graphic for Mardi Gras this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> you got a lot of beads there. You got a lot of beads. You know that Mardi Gras actually began in France. They used to parade a fattened ox around the streets of Paris, which sounds like fun, but it must have been embarrassing for the ox. Yeah, that's, that's a little upset. It's just like, you know, a sacre bleu, a parade to highlight my fatness. That's just rude. <laughs> that's a French ox. I'm doing a French ox yeah, here. Yeah, that's very accurate. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Le mou. <laughs> After a Mardi Gras parade, you can actually pick up the necklaces out of the gutter, I spray them with disinfectant, and they're good to go. <laughs> we do it here whenever we book Bob Saget. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. He's my friend. He's my friend. How dare you, Umi? <laughs> oh, Saget's my... You know, Bob Saget and I have got the same birthday. We have, except his was a few years before mine. Boom, take that, Saget. <laughs> it's true. Bob's my friend. Every year, uh, round about our birthdays, we have lunch together, and I always pay. We laugh. <laughs> I don't always pay. Sometimes Bob pays. He, uh, he doesn't watch this show. <laughs> Are you sure? He yeah. said he did. No, he, t he told me. He told oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I watched that show that he did when he got hit in the nuts all the time. What's that called again? <laughs> America's Fartiest Home Videos? Was that, <laughs> was that it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Full House, I think it was. Great show. It? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, back in the 1970s, the necklaces that were thrown at Mardi Gras were made of real beads, but now they're made of plastic, just like the breast they are thrown at. <laughs> ah. Oh, what? I'm lying? No, come on! <laughs> <laughs> you know, in New Orleans leading up to Mardi Gras, dozens of parades, each one is led by a celebrity king. A couple of years back, one of the parade kings was Larry King. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, we've got the, you got the thing? Yeah, look, that was him right there. <laughs> When do I get to show my boobs? <laughs> he, he watches this show. Yeah, he does. No, he actually does, because I did a Kathy Griffin show last week. Larry King was on the show as well, and he said, Hey, what's the deal calling me the devil the other night? <laughs> I was like, it was just a joke. He went, yeah, well, I, you know I have insomnia, so I actually watch your show. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, yeah, so Larry, it's a joke, man. You know, I was just like, ah, come on, man. Here in L.A., the only time we get a parade is when the Lakers win the championship, so there's got to be no parades here for a while. <laughs> yeah, 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 blame, blame me, because I'm the basketball player, apparently. Yeah. It's my fault. It might be. Yeah, it could be. You know, the L.A. Lakers watch this They show. watch this show, they do. <laughs> that, that's why they're so bad right yeah, now. Right. <laughs> uh, they, they ought to get, you ought to get some sleep. Yeah. That's what you ought to do. Yeah. All right, well, we're out of time. You want me to come over there, or, uh, or are you going to come over here? 
How dare you? Oh, how dare you? Take it easy, man. It's a joke. You don't watch the show, do you? No, no, God, no. No. <laughs> All right, I'll come over there. Yeah, and then, come, come will you uh, throw us to a commercial break? I would love to. Oh, wait a minute. Are you reading Arnold Schwarzenegger's book? Yeah, yeah. Is it any good? Yeah. Here's uh, page one. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Can you, can you read that? Read that out to me, Oh, right? yeah, this. Uh, and then in 1974. <laughs> yeah. 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 You should do the book on tape for his yeah, book. Yeah, I, I will do the audiobook version. You know, he doesn't watch this show. Oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to uh, go to commercial? Yeah, yeah, go to the commercial. All right. Do it as Arnold Schwarzenegger, though. Okay. All right. Tonight's program is brought to you by the new sitcom Tuesdays at Mel Gibson's. Hey, <laughs> we'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Thursday, the best romance since The Notebook arrives. Katie! There's no safer place for you than here with me. Safe Haven. Rated PG-13. Start with an all-new award-winning car. Good. Now, find the most hardcore driver in America. That guy. Put him in it. What's this? Tell him he's about to find out. You're about to find out. Testing. Highlight the European chassis. Six-speed manual. Dual exhaust. Wide stance. Clean lines. Have him floor it. Spin it. Punch it. Drift it. Put it through its paces. Is he happy? Oh, yeah, he's happy. And that's how you test your car for fun. Easy. When you have sensitive skin, anything that touches your face can feel like this. Don't let it get to you. Try Mach 3 Sensitive. With three high-definition blades, a closer shave and a single stroke. For less irritation, even on sensitive skin. Get closer to the one you love. Gillette Mach 3 Sensitive. Gillette, the best a man can get. IHOP is in Times Square to compare new griddle melts to your usual breakfast sandwich. Got a lot more flavors. IHOP's new griddle melts, made fresh and hot, handcrafted just for you. It's like a sexy sandwich. Compare new griddle melts yourself, just $4.99. It's an epic breakfast sandwich. I live in the space between appearance and reality, where the hand sees more than the eye, where the power of touch has no limit. I tell people, the best magic doesn't trick you. It makes you believe. Believing. It matters. The HP NVX2. All notebook, all tablet, all HP. Available at HP.com or these fine retailers. Getting you the maximum refund, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna get you every single penny that you deserve. There's a refund out there. I'm gonna catch it and bring it back to you. Come on in. Consequence number eight, waking the baby. <coughs> Robitussin liquid formula soothes your throat on contact, and the active ingredient relieves your cough. Robitussin, don't suffer the consequences. If you have lung cancer or mesothelioma due to asbestos exposure, you should know that asbestos companies emerging from bankruptcy have contributed $30 billion to trust funds to compensate victims like you. Your ability to file a claim is based on certain criteria that we can help determine. There are time constraints, and your claim may be denied if you do not file in a timely fashion. To see if you qualify, please call Weitz and Luxembourg at 877-435-6376 or visit lungcancertrusts.com. Weitz and Luxembourg, with you every step of the way. Where have you been? 007 reporting for duty. Good is in every blue diamond almond. Good is a catalyst. Good is contagious. And once it gets going, there's no stopping what you can do. Get your good going. Blue Diamond Almonds. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Big Mardi Gras show. 
show, which is 100% breast-free, right, Jeff? Breast-free. Breast-free for your convenience, because if there's one thing that Americans will not stand for late at night, it is the... Breasts. Breasts. Yes. Of a naked lady or gentleman. That's correct. I threw a lot of beads out of the audience so far. No, I mean, no one's even, like, undone a top button or anything. <laughs> Very selfish, these people. Yeah, it's uh, very, very, very disappointing. And yet, right. <laughs> I'm conflicted. What's going on, man? I don't know. I just feel conflicted. I feel I'm kind of cranky today, actually. Yeah, I feel a little cranky, yeah. yeah. What happened? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel a little cranky. You want to talk about it? No, I don't think it? I want to talk about it. No! What the hell, man? Take it out on me. Man. No, don't you take it out on me! No, I'm just here trying to help you through the Oh, show, you trying to help me? Trying to help me stand there staring at me with beads and I never even saw your ribs? You know only one of my arms works, you jackass. I can't even take my shirt off, dare you. I'm sorry. Let's do the thing we learned at therapy. All right. All right. When you yell at me, I feel that you're not listening. <laughs> When you touch me inappropriately, I don't mind it, actually. <laughs> Thanks, studio audience. Uh, may I say you all look fine and bundled up this evening? The hell are you looking at me for? You're my sidekick. I'm the host. What do you think I'm looking at you for? Uh, some kind of moral support or a joke or something. Why do I even have you as a sidekick? You're meant to be my friend. You're meant to back me up. It's like that Beyonce thing. I'm in the middle and you agree with me and you agree with me. I go, sing, sing, sing. And then you go, that's the truth. And that's it. See the horse? The horse is agreeing with me. The horse is agreeing with me. Yeah, it's a horse. It's a stupid horse. With it's not stupid. No, you got my horse. Stupid. I don't need this from you. I hate your stupid face. <laughs> well, then I bid you adieu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We better get on with this. This is really actually a television show. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, sort of. Not really. No. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man whose nickname is The Big Easy. <laughs> Want to do our own jingle tonight? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tweet mail time. Tweet mail time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Look at that. We got a pile of these things. We have one minute, 36 seconds to do a pile of these. Where, what do we have to do? Quickly. There's quickly. no time. Read the oh, tweets. Quickly. 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 Very quickly, though. What do the ladies say when we walk in at the club? Here come the players. Then what do they say? They're so fine. All right. This is from David in West Covina. It says, Dear GP in the Ferns, over the years you have been able to provide the he who smelt it dealt it theory. Or what? I can't read this. <laughs> Oh, it came back. I tried to throw it away. It came back. That's my rule. All right. Over the years, have you been able to prove the he who smelt it dealt it theory, or is it an urban legend? <coughs> Jeff? I, well, I don't have the ability to fart. Will you not say that word? I don't like that word. It brings down the tone of the show. <laughs> Pass wind? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got to keep going. Uh, this is from Margaret in Windsor, Ontario. Hi, Craig and Jeff. I was in the studio audience earlier this week, and you said we were the best audience ever. Was that true? No, tonight's our. This is uh... Man, people are gullible, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Like, you, you gotta figure uh, that's how you know that's how all these infomercials make a fortune. You just go, this is the greatest thing ever, and people go, yeah, the greatest thing ever. Yeah. And you get two for 19.99. <laughs> uh, all right, we're out of time, so uh, three left, and then I'm out of here. This is from Callista in Branton, Florida. Hi there, Craig. My brother and I both think you're sexy. Is that creepy or cool? Kind of creepy, kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> This is from Tammy in St. Louis. Dear Craig and Jeff Peterson, is the creepy cat still over the fireplace? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's there, yeah.
All right. Uh, finally, this is from Connie in St. Paul, Minnesota. Hello from St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Have either of you ever been to the Twin Cities? <laughs> yep. Jeff? Yeah, I visited him just before the show. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to go there. <laughs> before I head south. <laughs> it's just polite. We'll be right back with Ted Dyson. Slayer. Do these giants have any weaknesses? Not many, no! Ready PG-13. In real D, 3D, and IMAX 3D, March 1st. Hey, Brian, what do you want? Uh... <laughs> I love a Red's Apple Ale. Red's Apple Ale. Crisp like an apple. Brewed like an ale. Sam's Club has a limited time special mattress buy. This Serta Eurotop Queen mattress and box spring set is just $3.98. And right now, receive special financing on select Serta mattresses. Get this special buy while quantities last. Sam's Club, life is better in the club. This Valentine's Day, fall back in love with Joe. Denny's has entirely new coffee, from the beans to the machines. Try it for free on February 14th. At TurboTax, we know this is more than a paycheck because these days, every penny is a little more important. That's why we let you file your simple federal return for free. It's free to prepare, print, e-file, and you can even chat with a tax expert. Get the federal free edition at TurboTax.com. This one goes out to all the allergy muddlers. You know who you are. You can part a crowd <laughs> without saying a word. You have yet to master the quiet sneeze. You stash tissues like a squirrel stashes nuts. Well, muddlers muddle no more. Try Zyrtec. It gives you powerful allergy relief. And Zyrtec is different than Claritin because Zyrtec starts working at hour one on the first day you take it. Claritin doesn't start working until hour three. Zyrtec. Love the air. Think last season of Survivor was crazy? Get ready for more meltdowns. I'll tell you what I want. It really is a nightmare. More makeouts. There's been a lot of cuddling going on. It's the game of love. More madness. I am a little bit out there. A new season of Survivor begins Wednesday, only CBS. We have it. Oh, do we have it. 4G LTE speed and no annual contract. Have I got a phone for you. The LG Motion 4G. $49 after rebates. Now, at Metro PCS. <laughs> this girl says, Acorns, lady, I'm cash only. <laughs> he was born with no face. <laughs> Just stab it, it's meat sushi. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look in the trunk. <laughs> You're the herpetologist, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, Amy. Do you have a cat? Amy, do you have a cat? <laughs> All right, we need dip jokes. Yeah, that kind of rich. Powerball from the New York Lottery. Diamonds, the forever gift. Half carat center of my world pendants are $2.99. One carat solitaire's $9.90. And two hearts that beat as one, $1.99. Thousands of items guaranteed to appraise for double. Factory Direct, the jewelry factory in Hackensack. Watch this move. Now watch this move in 4G LTE. Me, me with 4G LTE. Don't go another season without being 4G fast. Unbeatable 4G LTE from Metro PCS. There's more to news than just the headlines. When it's important to you, it's important to us. The proof in our newscast. Your lives, your news. CBS 2 News.
first guest tonight is one of the stars of the great CSI show, which is Wednesdays at 10 o'clock on CBS. Take a look at this. You got something? Yeah. Ted, you are looking sharp, man. I mean, sharp. You Thank look you. great. I this mean, is new to me. This is yeah, yeah, huge, this is the new huge. studio. What do you yeah. what do you think? I like it. Yeah, the fire too hot? I can, no. uh, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Why are you so angry? I don't know, I feel, I'm, cr I don't know what it is. You ever get days where you just think, oh, I'm so grumpy? Yeah, yeah, but why? Well, I don't know. I had a tough childhood, maybe that. What do you, do you, any ideas why you, you think it might be? Mardi Gras. Mart? <laughs> I see where you're going. Yeah. Because I can't, uh, or can't? The, I've you lost should. the, uh, yeah. You, <clears throat> you think this is angry, you should have seen me when I was <laughs> drinking, though, man. <laughs> Were you? Did yeah, you kind of. Temper? Depending on what I drank. If I drank whiskey, I got angry. If I drank tequila, yeah. I got a little crazy. And, yeah. and if I drank wine, I was like, there's no alcohol in this. I never know what to say to a drunk. I am just all thumbs. I don't know what to do. I'm like stumped. It's like, oh Lord. And because I was a bartender, Sam Malone. Oh yeah. Like, hey, yeah, of course. It's like they think they think I'm one of them, and I'm just stumped. I don't know what to say. You, you're not a big drinker at all, are you? No. Not anymore. No. No, I enjoy occasionally, but no. You know, when you're working, I can't. Right. Uh, and like a heavy night out would be like one and a half glasses of wine. Oh, so I mean, it's, I know, I know, it's a joke. I oh, mean, for heaven's sake! I would go to sleep. I would go to. I would fall asleep before I would actually. You know, I wish that happened to me though. I'd, I'd rather be that way than be, you know, absolutely, yeah. you know, the way things yeah. are now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. That's why you're cranky. Yeah, a little bit. Probably yeah. might be that. It's possible, yeah. you know. It's possible. Hmm. Hey, um, the CSI, that light that you shine around looking yeah. for sperm, do you have one of those? <laughs> oh, now, come on. What? I was told I couldn't bring a prop out here, and because I, I had one of those little lights that I was going to bring you out. You have one? Yeah, and I was going to go like this on your pants and go, oh, oh I'm no. so sorry. No, I man. was. I was. Do you really have I don't know. I don't know. I... I don't know how comfortable I'd be with you uh, examining my pants for sperm. I mean, I don't think no, there's I any there, but you don't know. I you know your shoulders. I, there's no sperm on my shoulders. <laughs> do you do you That's take one? That's a song. That is there's a song. no sperm on my shoulders. <laughs> That's the Broadway musical. <laughs> there's no sperm on my shoulders. Yes, there is. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> You, have you gone all Howie um, Mandel with it now? Do you take it to hotel rooms and check? No, so this is just on set. All right, no, so you've not, not become my a germ of No, 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 no. All no, right, then. No. You no, might. Germs, I like germs. Germs are good. You like germs? <laughs> yeah, a peck of dirt keeps whatever the doctor, what, you know. A peck of dirt helps the doctor, the doctor work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I believe that one. Uh, given that we just made it up, it would seem pointless. A peck of dirt. A peck of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got nothing. No, that's all right. Look, I, I didn't want to bring this up, but I'm going to have to because it's on my mind. Yeah. Are you wearing flared pants? <laughs> like, I thought I caught it when I... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And you, you, can tell, you can tell how old they are, too. Yeah, I do. I am. Wow. Yeah. And now, are they flared from the first time around with flares? Second time. Second time around yeah. with flares. Because yeah. I didn't. Are they? Look, I, I I mean this in the nicest possible way. Is that is that happening now? Is again? this uh, is this an age joke or a no? Fashion not, not at all. Not at all. Fa no, I'm I'm I. It's about flared pants. It's like I. No, no, no they're coming back tomorrow. 
as a result of your show. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, what, do you, what do you got? I got, I got a Woo! nice little pair of, uh, yeah. Here. Now, my kids, my kids, get, are these Paul, I don't know, some fancy socks. These I, are tights. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That would be weird if they were, yeah. though. No sperm on your pants. No. <laughs> no. Would you, have you ever, do you like skiing? I do. Do you ever go uh, skiing wearing tights? Yeah, yeah. You know, guys I, I, wear, I, they yeah, call yeah. them ski, ski yeah. underwear, but it's tight. They're tight. It's tight. No, 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 no. Oh, please. I, 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 I have photos of me in tights. I do, I do everything in tights. Is there a website? Yeah. <laughs> Ted dancing in tights. Ted in tights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too, I bet there is now. Too yeah. tight, Ted. <laughs> yeah, no, tights are good. Yeah, really? Leotards, not so much. No, I listen, I'm actually against tights. Why? Well, I think that, you know, if you get, a, like, a garment which has no breathable area, and right. you cover up the entire lower part of your body and, and put an elastic thing about it, your, things are going to build up down there, you know? <laughs> Just cut a little hole? Well, if then... you cut a hole, then you've, it, you know, you've uh, yeah. essentially ruined the integrity of the garment right there. And... I don't know. There's some, there's some perks. You can wear dance belts. You can matinee rolls. <clears throat> Oh, you don't know what a matinee roll is? I don't know, Jeff. Yeah, you know. I don't. What is a matinee roll? Is it a dirty? matinee roll? No, it's not. It's what uh, men in the theater would wear when they were doing Shakespeare on the matinees. They would stuff their cod piece so that they look <laughs> right. And it was called a matinee roll because the ladies came to the matinees so they would demonstrate how well endowed, endowed they were. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah. A matinee roll. Wow. Did you ever wear one of them when you were playing Sam Malone? You didn't have to because you had the bar in front of I you had the most bar. of the time. There's yeah, no yeah, point. it'd be all right. No you implied it with your eyes. Yes. That's what makes you a great actor. <laughs> Do you know what role that, that you did that I was absolutely thunderstruck by was uh, Frobisher on The Damages Show. That was amazing. That was that was amazing. I mean, just amazing what you did good, with that. Good part. It was... I mean, I had always thought you as being rather genial, you know. And there you were, a complete psycho bastard. <laughs> Genie, you, you get to take, with that baggage of being nice and sweet and kind and funny, ha, 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 you can get away with a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I read the script, uh, uh, the pilot, I had like one little scene, and I thought, well, you know, he's a businessman, he's pushing the envelope, and yeah, he's, but you know, people in the news are doing the same kind of thing, so he's not that bad. I was justifying my character. Wow. The next episode, I looked, and on, in one-eighth of a page, it said, he's in the backseat of an Escalade with a hooker snorting cocaine and <laughs> telling somebody on the phone to kill somebody else, and it was like, okay. <laughs> right. oh, I'll do it. It's like Sam Malone all okay. over again. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back to Ted Dunn. <laughs> Construction in Lincoln almost killed me. Oh, construction. And I had to pick up my tux at the dry cleaners. Right, the tux. And parking was impossible. You know how it gets here. Oh, sure, yeah. With side blind zone alert, head up display, and modular seating, it's engineered to handle whatever life demands. Excuses, excuses. Introducing the new GMC Acadia. That's professional grade. Share great news with the dollar menu. Like a grilled onion cheddar burger for only a dollar. Share an irresistible new taste. A combination that'll be on the tip of everyone's tongue. An amazing new taste to share. Dollar Menu. Always sharing all your favorites for just a dollar every day. More new tastes to amaze. Frustrating. It's hard to turn off and go back to sleep. Intermezzo is the first and only prescription sleep aid approved for use as needed in the middle of the night when you can't get back to sleep. It's an effective sleep medicine you don't take before bedtime. Take it in bed only when you need it and have at least four hours left for sleep. Do not take Intermezzo if you have had an allergic reaction to drugs containing Zolpidem, such as Ambien. Allergic reactions such as shortness of breath or swelling of your tongue or throat may occur and may be fatal. 
Intermezzo should not be taken if you have taken another sleep medicine at bedtime or in the middle of the night or drank alcohol that day. Do not drive or operate machinery until at least four hours after taking Intermezzo when you're fully awake. Driving, eating, or engaging in other activities while not fully awake without remembering the event the next day have been reported. Abnormal behaviors may include aggressiveness, agitation, hallucinations, or confusion. Alcohol or taking other medicines that make you sleepy may increase these risks. In depressed patients, worsening of depression, including risk of suicide, may occur. Intermezzo, like most sleep medicines, has some risk of dependency. Common side effects are headache, nausea, and fatigue. So if you suffer from middle-of-the-night insomnia, ask your doctor about Intermezzo and return to sleep again. Yeah, I, absolutely. Are you kidding me? No, that'd be great. Oh, they're back. <laughs> when I say they're back, I didn't mean you. We were waiting for you. I meant them. <laughs> hey, Ted, have you ever been down to New Orleans? You get around a bit. Uh, once, yeah, once right after uh, the hurricane. We wanted to just... Oh, right, yeah, go down and help out a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy down there. Have you been down recently, though? But I don't do well. I, like I said, I really have trouble... Uh, like Bourbon Street it would yeah. be a, is a tough street. Well, you see, the thing is about the French Quarter, and I was amazed by this when I went there, that I thought the French Quarter was just all of that, but it's not. There's some really weird kind of little yeah. dark antique stores. and yeah. I went antiquing is what I'm saying. I, I, <laughs> and there's like this weird like ancient uh, guns and weapons store, and I love all right. of that kind of right. stuff. So I was like, oh, wow. Right. I, I confess I don't really know it. I was there for no, like two days, right. but Mary loves it, and... Uh, we go to Nashville a lot. You know, Nashville. I love Nashville too. Yeah. yeah, I like anywhere in the south, basically, yep. or the north. <laughs> it's it's or, broadcast or, or those those major markets. Oh, yeah, in the yeah, west. yeah, yeah. Or anywhere in your region. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the uh, I like the south. Nashville's fantastic. I yeah. shot a comedy special there. In Nashville. Where, where, where? At uh, the James K. Polk Theater. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. He was from Nashville, you know. One-term president. Annexed the whole of the West Coast. Not bad. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Well, hey, hey. There was other things involved, too. You may want to look into it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean... So, yeah, Nashville? Why yeah, Nashville? Yeah. Mary uh, has a publishing deal with Universal Music. Oh, she's yeah. a songwriter. Yeah, That's of course. what she does when she's not acting. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you interested in getting involved in country music? I, I am. I'm married to a songwriter. No, no, I mean, I mean singing, singing, getting no, a big hat oh, and singing. No, yeah. no, no, I would do anything not to sing. People have paid me not to sing. Really, really bad. I'll give you two coconuts if you sing. <laughs> two coconuts and a frisbee. Actually, <laughs> if you want to sing something, it's fine. But don't let these people sway your opinion. They yeah. never do it to me. Coconuts, he's gonna get two coconuts. <laughs> coconuts? <laughs> Why don't you love me like you used to do? <laughs> all right, uh, we're out of time. You wanna throw frisbees at the horse? Yeah. Come on then. All right, Ted Johnson, everybody. Remember, right, right. Thank you for Well, th there's a planet uh, filled with babies. And every day, the special ones uh, shoot off into space. After a nine-month journey, they find their mommies and daddies. And that side is where babies come from. But Jake said babies are made when mommies and daddies... You go, play with us on the bus. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round. Getting you the maximum refund, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna get you every single penny that you deserve. If there's a refund out there, I'm gonna catch it and bring it back to you. Come on in. Did you know the core of our health is truly on the inside? That's why I take new True Biotics. 
It's a daily probiotic that helps in two ways. One helps support digestive health, the other immune health. Stay true to your health. New True Biotics from the makers of One A Day. What's better, faster or slower? Faster! Yeah, what's fast? Um, my mom's car and a cheetah. Okay. A spaceship. Spaceship. And what's slow? My grandma's slow. Would you like it better if she was fast? I bet she would like it if she was fast. Hmm. Maybe give her some turbo boosters. Tape a cheater to her back? Tape a cheater to her back? Okay. Seems like you've thought about this before. It's not complicated. Faster is better. An iPhone 5 downloads fastest on AT&T 4G. Sam's Club has a limited-time special mattress buy. This Serta Eurotop Queen mattress and box spring set is just $3.98. And right now, receive special financing on select Serta mattresses. Get this special buy while quantities last. Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Dove has asked real women to try our Go Sleeveless deodorant for five days. Everybody got two t-shirts as well, a short sleeve and a sleeveless one. Which would they wear on day five? Sleeveless. Definitely sleeveless. What? I just like the t-shirt. For visibly softer, smoother underarms. Sleeveless ready in just five days. Dove Go Sleeveless deodorant. Hey, Brent, what beer are you drinking? Um... Oh! Give me a Red's Apple Ale. Red's Apple Ale. Crisp like an apple. Brute like an ale. Marta! CBS Wednesday. Silvana, you're next. The only thing hotter than the crime... Did you ever come across anything like this? Never. ...are the suspects. Why can't you see the truth? The plot thickens. A hot new CSI, CBS Wednesday. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. My next guest is a beautiful, talented, funny actress. Uh, she stars in Warm Bodies, which is in theaters now. War what? Warm Bodies? <laughs> Don't you ooh, you'll embarrass her. <laughs> it's in theaters now. Is theaters or computers? <laughs> <laughs> Theresa Palmer, Theresa Palmer. Uh, wow. Hello. Wow. Look at you, Theresa. You look great. I love the pants. Well, thank you. It's a onesie. Whoa, really? Do you know no. what that is? Yeah. A onesie? It's yeah. all attached. Yeah, it's all, uh, it's impregnable then. You can't get... Uh... <laughs> Take that as a compliment. <laughs> the, well, is that the, uh, were you concerned about getting here? Was it a Mardi Gras thing? There what? I saw the Mardi Gras, flashing the boobs, getting the beat. Yeah, it's not really my thing. What are you talking about? You're from Australia. You guys do that year round. Yeah, I'm all about, I'm all about So out the, the outback, you can't avoid it. Do it for a kangaroo. Mine would be fine. <laughs> Why would I do it for a kangaroo? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying something. Some kind of stereotype about Australia and hoping it lands. Alice, Hold on a second. Bruce. La Boutons? They are. Yeah, I thought I recognized. You should try these on. They're really painful. I can't. I'm... They're... I can't. Really I've got my tights on. And oh, so they went. Oh, my God. Pippi long stockings. Is that what that is? No, yeah, what's that? The no, look. See that? Like... That's what drives girls crazy when they see a bit of that. Well, a bit of leg hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Hey, the Whoa. movie looks fantastic. It's comedy Thank zombies. You. I love zombies yes. and comedy. Good. It's a mashup. Zombie rom com. It a is. zombie rom com? It is. It so, is. what happens yes. in it then? You fall in love with a zombie? I do. I do. And my love heals him and heals all the zombies and they become wait, more human. Wait, 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 wait. That really happens? It really happens. Spoiler yeah. alert for the movie. I know. I think I. I think it's already been spoiled, but yeah, and, and we have a little kissing scene. And you, you, do you have a sex zombie sex scene? No, no necrophilia involved in this at all. It is, it is just straight up. By the time I'm kissing him, he's a little bit more human. Yeah, so it's not too weird. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. How is that? Have you been back to Oz recently? Yes, yes. How are things down there? Um, New Prime things... Minister coming. Oh, yes, and things down under are doing well. Um, my dad... And how are things in Australia? Um, yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, um, I gotta do it. It's a union thing. Yeah, yeah. oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it was good. It was good. I was there for Christmas, and then my family came out for the Warm Bodies premiere. All right, where was that? Uh, here, in LA. Los Angeles? 
It was here. They all came out. My dad uh, spent the majority of his time working on his trains website, which he's very passionate about. Okay. And when I grew, uh, when I was growing up, um, we had the Australia's biggest train set in our house. Wow, that must be quite a size because Australia is known for its large train <laughs> it set. It is. That's what we're very uh, famous like for. That's like the three things: kangaroos, the baby eating um, dingoes, and the. Uh, those crazy train sets. Oh, the train sets are like, come on, mate, come over here. Look at the size of this locomotive. That was good. Not bad, I. Right? What is this? Yeah, what so is that? that? That's me demonstrating the wheelbase of the X4000. Oh, my God. Yeah. You are very good at the accent. That is it a comes hard and goes, I have to say. It comes and goes. I, I, I try it, and then Australians get mad at me, and then I stop trying. Wait, no, I'm impressed. But you're good. from Adelaide, though, aren't you? I am from Adelaide. Yeah, that's, Adelaide. that's kind of further out there a little bit. I, you've been to Adelaide. Yes, I have. Yeah, yes. I, I enjoyed Adelaide very much indeed. It is, uh, <laughs> what was that little giggle about? <laughs> I had sex with someone there. That's oh, what I was like. Yeah, yeah. With just one person. Well, you know, a, a small, a small group of people. Just a, not, together at the same time. Not at the same. Some of them at the same time. A few of them, you know. Oh, it was, wow. Uh, yeah, it was Adelaide. Things were crazy back things, then. Things are crazy. It was all train sets and group sex back then. <laughs> oh my golly. No. Um, Maybe I met your dad. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. I would not be surprised. Oh Maybe no! <laughs> stop it. So, uh, are you adjusting to life quite well here then? Are you all right with it? I believe I'm liking it here. Yeah, yeah I, I moved here in 2007. Yeah, uh, I did. That's a long time now. That's six it's, years. It's a or unless this while. is a rerun, in which case it's the amount of years. I know. It is. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I know I really like it. LA is cool. There's like nice little pockets and yeah, very little hippie pockets. dippy. And I certainly have, have become um, more hippie since being here, believe it or not. More hippie? Yes. My like dream is to have my own organic farm and be barefoot and pregnant and have just hundreds of horses and dogs like running at me in the mornings. I think, I, to be fair, I think that's more Portland than LA. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> have you been up? Have you been up there? No. Oh, I'm you'd not. love it up there. It's just the kind of stuff I'm you like. Fit in nicely. No, no, it's great up there. It's very really? nice actually. What? Go up the coast there. Oh, it's, it's nice. really nice. Yeah, you should get around America. Are you into but... that sort of thing or not really? What? Horses, barefoot, and pregnant? No. <laughs> well, a little bit actually. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, you've got a horse here. I saw I've got a, a horse. Yeah, I've got a, he's over there. I yeah. know. Yeah, What's yeah. it? Someone. But he's neither barefoot nor pregnant right now. He's not. But please. He's Mardi Gras out though. I like it. Actually, we're kind of out of time now. We can throw frisbees at them if you yes, want. Yes, can we? Yeah, yeah. That'd be want. great. Did you learn about uh, our American frisbee in Australia? I didn't. Do you want to enlighten me? I'll explain it to you. It's a sort of a flying disc. It's a bit no. like a train set, except there's no train all set. Oh. <laughs> Well, that narrows it down. Perfect. Right. Uh, I think we got some. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we've had a return. Can I pick my collar? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can have. Yeah. You can have three, and I'll have three. Oh. All right. Good. All yeah. right. All right. There you go. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> you're terrible at this. I'm sorry. Oh my God. All right. All right, you go. All right then. Uh, Teresa Palmer, oh, right. we'll be right back. Reservation for the hit drama. The things people try to get away with in hotels. A new person of interest. That Sherlock Holmes will do anything. I am better with you. To keep his companions safe. Ow! What was that about? Could have been a knife. All new elementary after person of interest. CBS Thursday. Pillsbury Grand's biscuits. Delicious. But say I press a few out flat, add some beef, sloppy joe sauce, and cheese, fold it all up, and boom. I just made an unbeatable, unsloppy joe. Pillsbury Grand's Biscuits. Let the making begin. Nuovi Totino's Pizzeria Rolls. Prova tutte le tue specialità italiane preferite, come le meatball marinara cheesy garlic e il chicken parmesan. In just 60 seconds, you can't get more Italian. It's on. Let's roll. CLR makes quick cleaning of all your messes and turns chore time into your time. Take that clogged shower head, dip it in CLR, and done. It's running strong. Swish CLR in your coffee pot to get rid of hard water deposits, and it looks like new. 
CLR dissolves white crusty calcium and lime buildup on your humidifier filter fast. CLR is safe for the environment too. Turn chore day into your day with CLR. Find all our products at these fine stores. New York is a big town and deserves big justice. This is our city, but it's her courtroom. Judge Judy, weekdays at 4 p.m. Then CBS 2 News with Maurice Dubois and Christine Johnson at 5. When I'm halfway into your heart, you have to let me know so I don't make my worst mistake. Turn around and let you go. When sweet and salty come together, the taste is irresistible. Made with sweet, smooth peanut butter and salted roasted peanuts. Sweet and Salty Nut Bars by Nature Valley. Nature at its most delicious. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? We always show that zombie one if ever there are zombies on the show, right, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the thing we do. You know, I have to say, in a break with tradition, I thought tonight's show was actually pretty uh -oh. good. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Well, it shows you're better when you're angry. You know, you're real angry today. No, I don't think that's what it is. Well, what is it? Stop asking me questions. What the hell, man? You just... What do you mean, what the hell? Why do you cuss at me? I never cuss at you. Of it, man. Okay, read me something from the book to calm me down. And when I met Maria, she did not know that in my trousers I was wearing a matinee roll. <laughs> <laughs>